Item number, SCP-336, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-336 is to be provided living quarters 6 meters by 6 meters in size, maintained regularly. This maintenance, as well as all other tasks requiring direct contact with SCP-336, are to be carried out exclusively by female personnel. SCP-336 may make requests for furnishings or items. However, approval of these requests is contingent on SCP-336's cooperation with personnel and subject to the project's head researcher's approval. Requests for access to anomalous or dangerous items are to be denied. A voice modulator device fitted over SCP-336's mouth is to be checked and maintained by Level 0 personnel weekly. The modulator may be unlocked with a six-digit combination provided to personnel level 2 and higher for the purpose of testing SCP-336. In the event of the device's failure or unintended deactivation, local lockdown procedures are to be respected until SCP-336 has been isolated. Description SCP-336 appears to be a pale-skinned human female of otherwise Arabic or Middle Eastern descent in its late 20s. SCP-336 is 1.73 meters or 5 foot 8 inches in height and weighs 68 kilograms or 150 pounds as of its last physical. Subject requires no sleep or sustenance and does not appear to be affected by aging or sickness of any nature. The object is anatomically human with the exception of dermal irregularities along the thighs and calves which appear structurally similar to reptilian scales. SCP-336 behaves impassively and detached with regards to human beings and demonstrates highly introverted behavior. The subject is highly intelligent and analytical, having scored in the 95th percentile or above in most intelligence tests. A noticeable improvement in attitude is observed when SCP-336 uses a mirror, as the subject has been noted to be highly narcissistic and has a tendency to spend long periods of time admiring its reflection. Human subjects directly exposed to the unobstructed vocalizations of SCP-336 experience one of two effects, depending on the presence of a Y chromosome in the subject's genome. Subjects lacking a Y chromosome and possessing otherwise healthy reproductive systems will experience inexplicable infertility. The duration of this infertility varies, but is directly proportional to the length of exposure. Subjects with a Y chromosome experience a separate anomaly that presents itself after two to three hours of exposure to SCP-336's voice. During an affected subject's next regular sleep cycle, he will instead enter a coma six to eight hours in duration in place of normal rest. Over the course of this coma, approximately 100 grams of non-essential tissue, typically from the subject's rib cage, will separate from the subject seamlessly and inexplicably increase in mass transforming into a full-grown instance of SCP-3361 before the subject awakens. Instances of SCP-3361 are various adult female organisms formed from disparate anatomical elements selected seemingly at random from two or more genetically unrelated vertebrates. 90% of instances incorporate elements from two or more of the following species. Homo sapiens, Aquila fasciata, Benelli's eagle, Vipera amidites, sand viper, Panthera leopersica, Asiatic lion, Bos primigenius, aurochs, extinct, Echospherus perzewalski, Mongolian wild horse, and an unidentified subspecies of Capra egregorus, wild goat. Current findings suggest that the genetic makeup of the affected subject directly correlates with the composition of the corresponding instance. Research is ongoing. The majority of these hybrids are not anatomically viable and typically expire within two weeks. Surviving instances are irrationally violent and demonstrate no evidence of higher intelligence. SCP-336 has demonstrated mild disdain for instances of SCP-3361 and has been reluctant to discuss both the organisms and the means of their creation. As SCP-336 has been otherwise cooperative with Foundation personnel, the reason for this behavior is unknown. Addendum 
3361. Recent experimentation has identified an irregularity in the object's effects on subjects whose Y chromosomes exhibit the Cohen modal haplotype. Instances of SCP-3361 formed from such subjects are exclusively Homo sapiens, with no hybridized anatomy. Additionally, these instances demonstrate intelligence and limited innate knowledge, including fluent speech in the subject's native language. Two of these instances have been retained for long-term study. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-335, 153.5-inch floppy disks, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.